What's going on everybody? It's actually the next day from the day that you're watching this video. Basically, this is the morning. I see I'm in my robe kicking it. And uh, yeah, before I get started with this video, I want to mention my boy Rackley, LFG, Lake Fork Eye, Justin Rackley. You guys know him. He uh, he's, a, he's in need of some help right now. Unfortunately, he has a brain tumor and me and the rest of the Googans and everybody were raising money to help pay for it so there's a t-shirt i'll link it down below it's called make every cast count all of the profits go to him so if you guys want to help out lfg i would appreciate it click the link down below purchase a t-shirt it's a pretty sick t-shirt let's get on to the video so we're headed to a a lake brought the old the old boat with me the old 10 pounder boat i don't know if that's what i'm gonna call it or not but that's just what i'm calling it for now anyways so that's what I've got going on. I'm gonna be meeting Fire Pond guy out there. You guys know who that guy is, good guy. So we're uh, meeting him out there, and uh, we're gonna see if we can take our mystery tag box out there and catch some fish. That is the goal today, folks. Hope you all enjoy. Well, we made it on the on the old 10 pounder boat here and uh, I'm looking to fly with these shades Alec with uh, Alec fire pond guy. We're here. We're doing big things got the got the yacker right there behind us We're double we're double teaming this John boat and kayak doing the old mister. Where is this thing at? Mystery tackle box challenge today using the baits out of the box. You guys don't know what mystery tackle box is monthly subscription boxes sent to your house every single one filled with fish catching Lures. If you want to try it out for the very first time, use promo code FLAIR to get 10 bucks off. I will leave the link and all the other information down below. Also, I'm going to be doing an unboxing, and that time will start right here. That is when I do the unboxing, but for now, I know you guys want to see us go catch some fish. So that's what we're going to do. A few of the baits in the mystery tackle box. One of them is a spinner bait. We got a lipless crankbait, two flipping plastics, and uh, a little tungsten punching ray with like a punch skirt on it. So I'm going to be throwing this and flipping a, flipping a Texas rig creature and punching. That is, those are, that's what I have to work with today. See if we can catch some fish. It's really warm. Not really warm, it's just warm. It's like 75, 80 degrees, sunny. It's been cold the last couple days. So we're thinking, think with this warm, warm trend here, we'll see if we can catch some fish. This no wind thing is not gonna help the spinnerbait bite, but the punch and bite should be lit. There's one. Got him. Got him. Yep, got him right off that brush pile. Right off the old brush pile. Alec found the juice. Found a little little offshore stickeroo out in the middle of the lake. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Not bad. We'll take him. We will take him right there. I was hoping for a little bit bigger one, but not a bad fish. That is on the old creature bait, little Texas rig. We couldn't catch a whole lot punching. See you guy. Not much was happening on the punch side of things. I thought it'd be good. It's hot and sunny and we could hear them busting, but the problem is, is the water goes back like 15 feet from where the, like the front of the reeds are. And we just, we can't get back there. Like it, there's, it's not even about how heavy the weight is. It's just like you like physically cannot fish it. So we're, we kind of pulled off a little bit. There's a little, little stick up out there that we I just cut that fish off of. And we're going to see if we can catch some fish uh, doing this. We might go back to punching though. Just kind of, we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. Yep, I saw him come out and get it. That was sick, dude. I swam out of those reeds and I saw him just dolphin dive over the top of them after it. I, like cast in those reeds and I was swimming it out and he like jumped over the top of them. Huh? Another another little guy, a little one and a half pounder, but I'll take it. That same bait, I just threw a little Texas rig on this. I couldn't get them to eat the punch rig yet, so we're just Alec and I are kind of fishing. Look at see all those bait fish right there, teeny tiny little guys. Yep. Yeah, so I wonder if, wonder if we're going to catch some fish right here. I just saw a bunch of bait fish. This thing could imitate basically a bluegill. Like when I was swimming that thing, this thing looks just like a bluegill, maybe chasing all those little bait, something like that, and fish. It caught the fish's attention. So that's the rig so far. Dose, 
Besitos. Dude, there's, there's. Despacito. There's a fish, punching fish, punching fish. Oh, not a giant. He just had an attitude problem. That's my first punch fish, though, folks. It's on the old punching skirt, old tungsten. Punching, punching these reeds. What's up with the squeaks, bruh? We need them donkeys. I don't know where them donkeys are at, but that's, a, that's another fish. There's one, there's one, bro. Come on, get out of there. Yes. <laughs> what up, boy? What up, boy? I just flipped. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo, they're back there, son. We fish in the jungle now. There's a, That's the size we're looking for. Dude, he choked it, too. That's why punching's fun. Never expect that. That was on the old, uh, there's another craw that came in the mystery tackle box. That's the size we need, folks. Solid three pounder right there. You guys probably couldn't tell. I don't know if you could, but I caught him way back there. About 10 feet back there. I bombed it way up in the air and just listened for the water to splash. That dude freaking just munched it. Gorgeous fish. See you, buddy. Bam. Hell yes. Sun punching. You guys saw the flare frog and flip a stick doing work. Wrenching three, three pounders, three and a half pounders. Over all these reeds, if you guys want one, links down below. Appreciate if you picked it up. Oh, you got one. There we go. There you go. Alec just caught a punch fish. There we go, boys. Alex punch fish. Right there. That's a solid fish, actually. Yeah, you calm down. That's quality if you would just chill out for a quick moment here. Yeah, that's what we like right there, though. That's a good fish. Yeah. Alec done did it. Caught himself a fish. That's good. That's what we like to see, folks. Catching nice fish. Not giants. There hasn't been, you know, any two, any giant giants, like five plus pounders, but we're catching them punching. What what more can you ask for? I was just telling Alec. Honestly, the way I caught that last one is probably in my books better than frog fishing. Because you're literally fishing in well, you don't even know if you're in water. You just listen and then the fish the fish eats it, which is I think is so much fun because then it's super hard to get the fish out. And you have no idea how big the fish is until you actually like rip them all the way out. It could be a five pounder, it could be a, could be a flare fish, you know, you never know. But Alec and I are gonna keep working here. Uh, we're, gonna get, we're getting kind of hungry though, it's almost dinner time. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and catch a couple more fish and then we'll go get some dinner and, and whatnot. So anyways, let's, uh, let's catch another bass. You got one? Oh, we got another punch fish. Oh, you got it, you got a flare fish though. You got it, I'm not even gonna, nope. Squaker, I'm just gonna act like you didn't catch that. Isn't that fun? It's still fun though. Like. Even when you catch small ones punching, it's still fun. Bring that, bring that fish here. Let's see what, let's see him. Look at that guy. It's a giant. Oh, a giant. Still, a punch fish is a punch fish. I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to punch, get yourself a, a flare rod, get like your 50, 65 pound braid, get like a, this is a half ounce tungsten. You can go heavier. The reason why we're going light is because we're trying to hit the pockets, but you can go with three quarter, one ounce if you want. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but we're going with a little bit lighter. That's a dark fish. There's one. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, we got doubles. We got double dos flare fish. We're in the nursery, folks. We got dos pasitos. That's what we got going on here. Hey, hey, what, what's, why, do they, why do these fish have attitude problems? I don't, I don't get it. If you would just chill for like a half a second, I could probably put you back in the water. Here we go. Little basito. Howdy, folks. If you made it to this part of the video, that means... You guys hopefully watched me catch some fish. Right now I'm doing the unboxing. This is, I'm actually doing this before. I'm going fishing after this. So the part that you already saw is what I'm gonna be doing after I unbox this, if that made any sense. I like to do the unboxings. Uh, I've, I like to show the unboxings after the fishing because I think the fishing is definitely the most entertaining part. I wanted to get to the juicy stuff right away, but I don't wanna do the unboxing after I go fishing because what happened last time is I actually broke off one of the jigs. So I'm doing the unboxing now so I can actually show you thoroughly all of the lures. I'm not gonna try to make this any any longer though, you know, too much too much longer than it already is, but we've got some, got some pretty sick baits. The sun is going in and out of clouds, so I'm sorry if the lighting is just terrible. I don't know if it's good or not, but here we go. First one is a BD series gunmetal shad top water it's a 105 it's basically just kind of like a little walking bait uh it's got chartreuse you know silver one of the best colors that you can that you can use out there so that's that's that it's got some nice rattles to it that is bait number one bait number two is we got a heavy metal tungsten punch rig right here so 
punch punching right here. I might actually do this in today's video. I don't know. Like I said, you guys are watching this. After I went fishing, I don't know what I'm going to be fishing, but I hope I can punch because I think the, the lake that I'm going to has some reeds and stuff. There we go right there. Little little punch setup, which is nice. I've actually, I don't think I've ever used a punch skirt like this before. I don't think I've ever done it. I usually just use tungsten and a plastic. This is going to be new. This is definitely going to be new. Again, why I love using Mr. Tackle Box. I've been fishing my entire life and I've never thrown this before. So I'm going to go give it a shot to hopefully today. Um, let's see. We got the KVD Perfect Plastics. These are like little soft plastic creature style baits here i'll show you a little bit up close action right there that's just your your little green pumpkin beaver best color on the market hands down nice little little beaver bait good for flipping good for punching all that fun stuff and uh here's some more uh let's see what this is this is a wrecking craw punching jig trailer shaky head so it's a uh, to craw and uh made by catch go so this is also something that can be punched on that little punch rig just a little craw Feel, it looks like uh yeah these are like really thick thick pinchers i kind of like that actually but it's nice nice and slender when you're punching you want everything to be super compact you don't want big old flapping craws because that will uh claws not craws claws because that will uh they'll catch the weeds and stuff like that so that's that and then we've got a bagley spinner bee with a three eighths ounce black spinner bait great for night fishing night fishing with a black spinner bait is really good i mean you can fish it during the day hands down but i've always heard a black spinner bait is really good at night uh, let's see what else we go. Jeez, this is a good fit. Okay, all right. We got a Janko fishing rip knocker, lipless crankbait. It's a big lipless crankbait. I like this. This is really good for ripping it uh, through schools of shad in the summer. You know, it's August right now. So, uh, for those of you guys that fish lakes with shad that school up, this is good. Just chuck this thing out there, rip it through there. Um, I don't know if I'll be fishing it today. Uh, not not sure if there's gonna be probably too much vegetation, but you never know. Um, let's see. And then we got. Oh, so this is like a whole punching setup. So we got a uh, zone lock hook. So that's a punching hook. So if I'm using the punch rig, I'll be using that hook. So it's a, uh, it's kind of a, it's a different shaped hook, but it looks it looks good in my opinion. And then it comes with some pegs. So it's got the whole punch setup. We got the hook, we got the pegs, we have the the weight and skirt and two options for soft plastic. So this is really dedicated to summer fishing. We have top waters, we've got punching rigs, and we have uh, spinner baits. Right? I think that's all we've got. And uh, and and a lipless. So, I mean, it's it's really dedicated to to the August August month and this this is what was in there I don't know if you guys are be able to see this or not but essentially that's that's that uh, all the prices and whatnot and then we've got uh, follow you know go follow mr. tackle box on snapchat and then we've got this dope little sticker right there which is uh, a craw on a ball with a chainsaw I'm not sure what's going on there and last but not least we have the dibbles digest this shows tips uh, tricks on you know how to go catch you some more fish all that fun stuff that's it for the what's in my mystery tackle box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, I'm hoping I catch some fish later today because if you guys are watching this part, that means that I did catch some fish. Um, I'm gonna tie on every, pretty much every single bait here and see what I can make happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you guys wanna try out mystery tackle box, use promo code FLAIR. You get 10 bucks off your very first box. Thanks for watching, folks. Peace.